Daniel, Matthew chapter 12. At that time Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, and they began to pluck ears of grain and to eat. When the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God and ate of bread of the Pharisees, which is not lawful for them to eat? Nor for those who were with them, but only for the priests. Have you not read the law on the Sabbath? The priests of the temple profane the Sabbath and are guiltless. I tell you, something greater than the temple is here. And if you had known what this means, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Okay. Right. Now, David was. David didn't do what was right. David was on the bottom of the Torah rule. If you remember that, I can't quite remember the passage. But uh, Jesus is trying to justify himself by the actions of the king. That king sometimes stuffed up pretty bad. David was a bit of a schmuck. He stuffed up pretty bad, and he didn't always do the Lord's will as well as the Torah rule. This is Nazareth uh, arguing that David is holier than the Torah. That's the difference. Quoting some of the sins of Israel as a justification, he's a fool. He says, "Don't have a go. Don't call someone a fool. He's a bloody fool for thinking that he can quote the sins of the king and get away with it." Uh uh-uh, uh Jesus, not quite. Now the uh, the priests, they don't profane the Sabbath. That's their duty on the Sabbath. That's their work on the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a day of rest, but the priest has official responsibilities on the Sabbath. He has to work on the Sabbath, it's assigned by God, it's part of a Torah duty, it's not profaning the Sabbath, the Sabbath is not a universal rule which exempts all activity, the priests have work on the Sabbath, they're the religious people, they're the priesthood, they've got work to do, again on that, he means, he mimics that Jesus is that, no he's not Lord of the bloody Sabbath, he was a Sabbath violator, and he was crucified, that's another of the sins which he was guilty of, Teaching disobedience to the Sabbath is a heresy. To think he's a smart liberal who can offer mercy above what God ordains as the rules of behavior as a spy with. He's just a smarty pants and he's in error. 